Hey guys, what's going on? It's Gavin. We're back and we're at the gym today. Um, we're just about to get in on this grind. I mean, I've already had a class today. We're uh, just waiting on my next one. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on the Jacob's Ladder. It's a uh, in a uh, elevated kind of like bear crawl. Um, this machine allows you to basically climb on rungs that are uh, activated through like a belt like a conveyor belt kind of system almost like a treadmill but incline but so we're gonna work on that today basically how to do it because it's not a machine that everybody does and we're just gonna figure it out so I'll see you guys there so right behind me is the Jacobs ladder um, this is the machine we're gonna be working on today it's got the safety harness slash belt that I wear it's what allows the uh, tension to activate the rungs that we're gonna be using so we'll have fun with it So, I literally just did like no time at all on that machine. I'm already dying. It's fine. <laughs> but it's something I gotta stick with. So, we're gonna bust some more out. Let's keep going. I just got back on the Jacob's Ladder and I'm starting to do an arm over arm or hand over hand grip. And then I switched to an outside holding onto the rails kind of grip. Uh, the difference in between each one is that I'm using a lot more legs when my hands are on the outside like so. And when I switch to back going hand over hand, like grabbing onto each individual rail, it's more of a full body workout, more like a, the bear climb or the bear crawl. And uh, basically I'm using a lot of lower back. And the reason why I was switching my grip every about 50 to 75 feet is because my lower back was starting to burn. So I'd switch grips and I'd go to the outside and just kind of save my back because I was doing it for a decent amount of time. But I think my total amount of footage that I ended up with was about 500, 500 feet? I'd want to say it was about 500 feet. Uh, could have been more, it could have been less, just a little bit. But I ranged about about 92 feet per minute, and that was almost two, almost two feet per second, um, about a foot and a half, actually. And each step that I was taking was one foot, so after one, two, three, four, that was four feet there. So every step that I was taking was about a foot. Um, but I, the, m the way to get the most out of this workout is to go hand over hand because you're using a lot of full body work. And that full body workout is from all of that. Um, but if you're wanting to do more of just like a kind of like a stair climb or almost of a leg, a really good leg burner, you would want to use the outside grips, just holding on to the outside handles and just going from there. Um, trying to do probably... A good set would be about 500 to 1,000 feet. I only did 500 because I felt like I could just do a more of a sprint. Um, but a good pace to stick around if you're doing like 1,000 feet is about 80 to 70 feet per minute. Um, it seems to be a really good pace. That's what I tried beforehand, but I wanted to get a sprint out of this one, so I decided to bump it up a little bit. But it turned out pretty good. Straight off. 500 feet. About 92 feet per minute. The incline, I want to say, it's about 45 degrees. Wow, that, that was exhausting. But that's about it for this session. Probably get some more uh, grinding a little bit later. Gotta head to class. See you guys later.